In the realm of strength training, few exercises command as much respect and attention as the squat. It's the cornerstone of leg day, the holy grail of lower body strength, and the ultimate test of resilience. But within the world of squats lies a fierce rivalry, the low barback squat versus the high barback squat. Today, we're diving deep into this epic showdown, uncovering their differences, benefits, and why you might pledge allegiance to one over the other. Low barback squat, harnessing the power of the posterior chain. Picture this, the barbell snugly nestled on your rear delts or just above as you brace yourself for the descent. The low barback squat is all about channeling the brute force of the posterior chain. With its lower bar placement, it prompts a forward torso lean, engaging those hamstrings, glutes, and lower back with unyielding intensity. It's a move favored by powerlifters who revel in its ability to hoist heavy weights with sheer determination. And let's not forget the knees. They catch a break in this variation thanks to the reduced stress compared to its high bar counterpart. High bar back squat, elevating the quads to new heights. Now, shift your focus to the high bar back squat where the barbell rests proudly on your traps, inviting you to stand tall and command the weight. This variation embodies grace and precision with its emphasis on the quadriceps. The higher bar placement encourages an upright torso, allowing for a deeper squat that stretches the limits of flexibility and mobility. It's a favorite among weightlifters and athletes craving explosive leg power as it hones in on those quads with surgical precision. Plus, for those with shoulder mobility issues, the high bar position offers solace and comfort, making it a go-to choice for many. The battle of benefits. Which side reigns supreme? As with any showdown, each contender brings its own set of advantages to the table. For the low bar back squat aficionados, it's all about unleashing the might of the posterior chain. By targeting the hamstrings, glutes, and lower back, this variation cultivates raw strength and power perfect for dominating power, lifting competitions where every ounce of muscle matters. Plus, let's not overlook the thrill of lifting heavier weights, courtesy of the advantageous leverage provided by the low bar position. On the flip side, the high bar back squat faithful swear by its ability to sculpt the quads into chiseled masterpieces. With its focus on explosive leg power, this variation is tailor-made for weightlifting competitions and athletic endeavors demanding speed and agility. And who can resist the allure of a deeper squat, unlocking newfound flexibility and mobility in the process? It's a game changer for those seeking to push their limits and redefine what's possible. The choice is yours. Subscribe and share your squat saga. In the end, the choice between the low bar back squat and the high bar back squat boils down to personal preference, biomechanics, and goals. Some may pledge allegiance to one camp, while others might embrace both variations in their quest for total leg domination. So, which side are you on, fellow fitness warriors? Are you team low bar or team high bar? Drop your vote in the comments below and share your squat saga with the world. And if you're hungry for more epic showdowns and fitness insights, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the journey towards strength, power, and greatness. Until next time, squat strong, lift heavy, and may the gains be ever in your favor.